go to a lot of shows But unless I'm in the front row It's hard for me to see what's going on Almost 30 years old I'm still waiting on my growth spurt Really didn't think it takes so Hey, my name is Jay Filson I'm a singer-songwriter from Nashville, Tennessee And I'm here for the new song music competition In Asheville, North Carolina if I was six foot three, you'd be seeing me on the silver screen next to Halle Berry. If I was six foot three, I'd be scoring TDs every Sunday, catching passes from Drew Brees. Wearing designer... I write songs in very plain language. I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a poet. So I feel like it's easy to relate to my songs because you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I also am very late to the music game. I'm not one of these people that I grew up listening to all these old records and, and knew I was going to be a musician. I was doing sports stuff. My sister was the musician person. Sports, sports, sports. And then when I realized that I wasn't going to go to the NFL, I was like, I, I guess I got to figure out something else to do. And that's when I kind of made my way to music. I just have things about myself and my own personality that I feel like are unique. And I've learned how those little things can be songs. So I just try to think of like, what are things that I always say to people about myself? Or what are conversations that I find myself having over and over again with people when I'm trying to describe something that is unique to me? And then I think about those things and I was like, oh, I could turn that into a song. So I just try to write stuff that's original to me that I can relate to. And inevitably there's so many people that relate to the thing that you thought was just you on a screen that's how you know me and i see you like them periodically so every word i use it choose it carefully i was hoping we would just meet naturally but all we have are messages and bios so i'll ask you little questions and read what you wrote usually i'll be the one to take it slow but we're not getting any younger so here goes nothing well and i, I played instruments growing up um but mostly like drums and percussion because that felt cool and when I was in high school, I had to be in men's choir as a requirement for one year. And that's when I realized that if I wasn't embarrassed to try, then I could sing. But I, it was still kind of embarrassing. It took me a little while to get over that. And it took the first time I performed for people at like a talent show at our school. And then a lot of people seemed to like that. And I was getting a lot of attention some attention from females and that felt really nice and i was like oh i guess if you just sing like people think that's cool so i think that started me uh performing usually i think i'm pretty funny and when i'm with other people we're all laughing but it's hard to tell when you're not in front of me is it going well do we like the same thing i have no idea how long i'm gonna have opportunities to play music and it definitely seemed like a leap of faith to even move to Nashville and start attempting to be a musician. Like, what a crazy thing. There's a million people that are already there, that are already doing it. So many people that are incredibly talented. Um, I just feel like as long as opportunities keep presenting themselves to me, then I'll go after it. And until God makes it clear to me that this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing, then I'm going to keep doing it. You can run, but you can't hide. Won't even make it across the state line. And if you do, it won't be alive. Do you really want it that try? Let me tell you this beyond. Nobody ever makes it through the woods. Can't even carry everything you took. No, you won't get far off. No. Thank you guys, appreciate it.